Hi there, this is a training video session by GG Technologies. From this training session you can understand how to extend and unextend an existing web application in SharePoint 2010. Before starting the training, let me provide the reason for extending a web application. Extending a web application is required if you need to have separate Internet Information Service websites for hosting the same content to different users in different network environments. You can also unextend it at any time as per your requirement without affecting the original web application. For extending a SharePoint web application, you should be a member of both SharePoint Group and Local Administrators Group. If you are unaware of creating a SharePoint web application, you can check it out at this link. Okay, now it's time to start. Open the SharePoint Central Administration website, in that spot the Application Management section and click Manage Web Applications link. In the Manage Web Applications page, notice the ribbon Extend and click it. Now the page for extending the web application appears. In the Internet Information Service website section, you can extend your selected web application to either an existing website or to a new Internet Information Service website. Here I select the option Create a new Internet Information Service website. Provide the port number and host header URL to access the extended web application. In the Security Configuration section, configure the authentication and encryption settings for your extended web application. To configure authentication providers, select either Kerberos or NTLM. Here I select NTLM. For allow anonymous option, select either yes or no. I select no. In the use secure socket layer option either select yes or no, and I select no. Enter the values for public URL and zone for your extended web application. Here I enter my custom values. Now press OK. You can also extend the web application by running this command in the SharePoint management shell. Before browsing the extended web application, let me show you the actual web application. Now you can browse your extended web application, which appears same as your original web application. You can also unextend the extended web application, for that open the SharePoint 2010 management shell and run this command. After running this command, your extended web application would have been removed. You can also unextend the web application using this option in the Manage Web Applications link in the Central Administration website. To confirm it, try to browse your extended web application. As expected, it is not available. In the meantime your original web application is untouched and you can browse it normally. We hope that this training session on extending and unextending a web application in SharePoint made your task simple and interesting. We feel happy in providing you with the training on how to extend and unextend an existing web application in SharePoint 2010. For queries, feel free to contact us at guruji at ggtech.com. In our forthcoming training session you can check out how to configure site permissions in SharePoint 2010. Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.